What is going on my hustlers here with a quick video telling you about one of my favorite food stocks. So here's the deal. What if there was a way that you could get invested in a company that has partnered with Dunkin Donuts, TGI Fridays, Del Taco, Denny's, Carl's Jr., Pizza Hut, Burger King, White Castle is in uh, talks and already testing products with Taco Bell and is rumored with the big dog of them all, McDonald's. Okay, I, I did a video the other day and I told you you got to be careful of partnerships, you know, meaning that, you know, if uh, there's certain companies out there that, that sell chips and they sell 50% of their chips, uh, you know, to Apple. And what happens if Apple decides to go with somebody else? Or what happens if Apple starts making their own chips? Well, that company is about to lose 50% of their revenue and they're going to be in major trouble. But this company is partnered with all of these restaurants that I just mentioned. Plus, they also are in your local grocery stores and they are constantly expanding and they are now a household name. And this stock name is Beyond Meat, ticker symbol B-Y-N-D. So I know they're a little pricey. I know that they've already had a big run and pull back. And they actually got downgraded recently uh, by some of the big dogs out there saying that the stock was not going to be as profitable as first imagined for 2021, but I want to tell you why that is not true. One, all those partnerships I just mentioned, okay? Those are restaurants that uh, are completely killing the market, that have been around forever, that will be around forever um, because they're good companies. Now, the question is, is who eats these fake meats, you know? Uh, we all, maybe we all went out, we got the, the impossible Whopper and all that stuff. And it, you're like, wow, that's a, that's a really good fake, but I'm not going to get it because I'm a meat eater. Okay. I don't know what's going on in the world, but did you know that the person who owns the most private farmland in America is Bill Gates? Okay. So why does Bill Gates, why does he own all this farmland? I have no idea. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what Bill Gates knows or what he's about to do that the rest of us don't. But when the long-term richest guy in, in, in America, I know he's not the richest guy in America right now, but he's the richest guy in America for a long time. And he's going around buying all about the private farmlands. There's got to be a reason why. And I think it has to do with the sustainability of meat. And so I think you're going to see more and more um, people turning away from meat, sometimes out of, um, you know, personal conviction, whether it is, you know, they're vegetarian or vegan or, uh, you know, they just don't like to eat meat or some you're going to see for dietary reasons. And I think some you're going to see just with planet, uh, sustainability over the long term, which I think is where Bill Gates is going to go. And so I think you're going to see these plant-based, uh, food options become more and more prevalent. So I've already done a few videos on Tattooed Chef. You know I love them. But I think this company is set for massive growth this year because, again, we partnered with Taco Bell, Denny's, Dunkin' Donuts, all these companies, and they're, they're in talks with McDonald's. And so you guys know how I feel about rumors. I mean, it's the name of the channel. And so I think they're going to be set for massive, massive growth in 2021. They've shown that they can run. Massive pullback. But I think right now it's a definite buy. So uh, I know it's a little pricier than penny stocks. I know people come loving, hey, what's what's the next Jivo? You know, what's the next ammo? You, you called those right. What's the next one? And here's the deal. Sometimes there's not a next one for today. Sometimes it's going to be another week. And so I can make clickbait videos, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to tell you something that I'm not buying in. You know, the last one I called was OPTT. Um, and I think, I guess here's the deal. As you look at my channel and you look at you know the last two, three weeks of, of stock picks and you're like, oh man, I wish I would've gotten in on Nano or Microvision back in the day. Well, Nano had a 20% pullback today. One of my accounts is heavy, heavy Nano. And I go, oh my goodness, how did I lose you know $2,000 today uh, when most of my other accounts were up? And you know, Nano took a big hit today. GVO took a big hit today and so, Hey, it happens sometimes, um, but I think those are still good long-term stocks, and so now may be a good buying opportunity. So if you're not in some of those stocks, you don't want to catch them on the way up. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, get them as they're going straight up and, and try and catch it and say, oh man, man I, I gotta buy, I gotta buy more, I gotta buy more. But wait for that little pullback, and that pullback is when you want to buy. But going back to this video now, 
The company I absolutely love is Beyond Meat, B-Y-N-D. Check it out. I know they're expensive, but buy a few shares, and I think you will be handsomely, handsomely rewarded uh, over the course of this year. All right, if there's a stock you want me to review, put it down in the comments, let me know, and I will do my best to, to get to it, review it, and let you know what I think, whether it's a buying opportunity or whether it's something like Zomitica that's still down today. So all of you who, who watched my video and you gave me a thumbs down is still down today. All right, that's all I gotta say. Check out the link down below about Webull. If you haven't, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like this video, hit the like button anyway. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. All right, y'all have a great day.